Hey YouTube, the objects beside the oscilloscope are all related to each other. Each one has an element which requires the property of piezoelectricity in order to function. From left to right in the front, there's a digital camera, a barbecue igniter, an anti-static pistol, and in the back, an ultrasonic water atomizer. The piezoelectric element in the digital camera is the speaker. You may recognize the harsh square wave beeping noise it makes from cheap video games, digital watches, or electronic singing birthday cards. In the barbecue igniter, the piezoelectric element is being hammered on by a steel mass being driven by a spring. This causes a large voltage to develop across the piezoelectric element, which causes a spark used to ignite the gas in a barbecue. The piezoelectric element in the anti-static pistol is similar to that of the one inside the barbecue igniter. The difference is the element inside the anti-static pistol endures a very prolonged strain instead of a sharp impact. During this prolonged strain, one half of the crystal is connected to your hand through the handle, and the other half is connected to a needle in the tip of the pistol. This needle sprays charge, alternately positive and negative, onto the surface which you are trying to neutralize. The piezoelectric element in the ultrasonic humidifier is very similar to the speaker inside the digital camera. A high frequency electric charge is applied to the piezoelectric element causing it to change shape. This vibrates the water so quickly that it atomizes. Of these four objects, the barbecue igniter presents the easiest way to demonstrate piezoelectricity in a more visual way. The parts of the barbecue igniter from left to right are the output terminal, the piezoelectric crystal, the anvil, the return spring, the hammer, the drive spring, and the button. When the button is depressed, it releases the hammer, which smashes into the anvil, transferring the stress into the piezoelectric crystal. This crystal gets compressed, causing a charge to build up on the output terminal and the anvil. The output from the anvil is transferred to a small wire on the outside of the case. Here I've taken the piezoelectric element from the barbecue igniter and hooked it up to my oscilloscope. The vertical scale is set to 100 millivolts per division. You can see that as I squeeze the piezoelectric element, the trace is very slightly deflected up and down, showing that a voltage is being developed across the crystal. By placing the crystal in the jaws of some channel locks and striking the handle with another set of pliers, you can see that a much larger voltage is developed. Here the vertical scale is set to 10 volts per division. The piezoelectric crystal is made of atoms who individually carry a positive or negative electric charge. Due to the regular repeating nature of the crystal, these charges cancel out in bulk. When the piezoelectric crystal is squeezed, the regular lattice shape is slightly deformed. This causes some of the positive and negatively charged atoms to be pushed around. They remain in their regular crystalline structure, but the charges are no longer symmetrical and no longer cancel out. These small imbalances of charge add up across the length of the crystal and result in a high voltage electric charge found at either end. In piezoelectric speakers and transducers, the opposite effect happens. A high voltage electric charge is applied to the crystal, causing the lattice shape inside the crystal to slightly deform. These small deformations add up over the length of the crystal, resulting in a very large and powerful deformation. This is what allows the atomizer to work and the speaker in the digital camera. I hope you found this video interesting. If you'd like to see more like this, check out my channel. Thanks for watching.